Hi. Hey. Welcome back to part three of Video Leap Basics. In part one and part two, we taught you how to adjust clips, how to add filters, how to mix videos, how to trim clips. So if that's something you're interested in, check out parts one and two. And today we're going to be talking about keyframes and how to add text. So what exactly are keyframes? Well, keyframes allow you to set a starting point and ending point for your animations. For example, we have this colorful smoke bomb layer, and let's say I want to give it some kind of big entrance. Okay. I want it to start very small, and then over time become really, really big. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to select the layer, and we're going to first add a keyframe. To do that, I tap this diamond-shaped icon in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, tap it, and we get the same shape on the layer itself. So this is our first keyframe. By itself, it doesn't do much, so we're going to add another one very soon. But first, I'm going to make it much smaller using my two fingers right here. Okay, so it's smaller. Now, all I need to do is scroll a bit forward on the timeline, and I'm going to make it bigger, and the second keyframe will be added automatically. Right, I see now there's two diamonds there. Exactly. And that should be the effect. Let's see how it works. All right. Awesome. Awesome. So this is a way to add keyframes when you're changing the size of something. You want something to get, be really small and get really big. What about if you want mm -hmm. to change positioning? Use yeah. keyframes to change positioning. So we can do that as well. Uh, for example, we have this jumping guy. I think what we're going to do is we're going to have him jump from the very bottom of the screen. Okay. So once again, I scroll over to the very start. Tap the keyframe icon to add the, ver the first one. Now I'm going to drag him all the way down so he's outside the actual frame. Scroll a bit forward and just drag him back up. And that should be it. Let's see. Let's see. Cool. There you go. Okay, so that's keyframe animation. Let's talk about text. A lot of people like to add right. uh, clips, uh, captions to their clips, or they like to make memes, how would you mm -hmm. add text? Yeah, so text really helps upgrade your videos, and adding one is very simple. Like Mixer in the previous video, all you need to do is go back to the toolbar down here and tap text. The moment you do that, you get a new text layer. You can see it here on the timeline and on the screen. Double tap to edit. I'll type something real quick and check. Let's see how it looks. One thing to point out here is that if you're using the free version, you only have up to two layers overlapping at one time. So any more than that, you'll have to go pro. But there sure. is actually a workaround for that, technically. Yes, there is a workaround. Uh, one thing you can do is you can export the video before you have too many layers. And then you get a flattened video that you can then use in a new project. So in this example, I would undo to remove the text layer export it from the top bar, and then just use a new project and add, add the text there. Right. So it makes it a little bit yes. less of an easy so that's workflow. One way if you're looking it. for a simple workflow, you should go pro. Um, yeah. That's basically. OK, so let's go back to our, yeah, there we go. So the text mm -hmm. here, I feel like, could be a little bit more legible. It's a little bit right. sort of blends in with the smoke bomb. Yeah. What can we do? So there's a few things we can do. Uh, first, when you go into text, you have a lot of options. You can uh, change the font, you can change the color, and many more. And to make it easier to read, we have stroke and shadow. So in this case, I think we're going to use stroke. Tap it, select width, and now we have a slider to change the width of the stroke itself. Um, Basically, it's okay, an so outline there. Yeah, so this is a bit too much, I think. I'm going to dial it back down to around 4. I think 4 looks good, but let's play it just to make sure. Cool. Yeah. What if you wanted to use keyframe animation on a text layer? Keyframes. you can do? Yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. Keyframes you can use in most places in the app, and text is no different. And for, for this one, I think we're going to have a... We're going to add a fade-in transition. Okay. Fade-in animation. So to do this, scroll to the, to the start, add a new keyframe, select opacity from the toolbar, set the slider all the way down to zero, so you can see that the text is gone from the screen. Scroll forward, bring the slider back up to 100, and that should do the trick. Let's play it from here. Looks good. 
Yeah. All right, so that is all about keyframe and adding text. If you have any questions or you have a request for our next video, let us know. Mm -hmm. Write in the comments below. Find us on Facebook. Email us. We are excited to hear from you. So yeah. see you next time. Bye.